The F-16 Fighting Falcon is a single-engine multi-role fighter aircraft originally developed by General Dynamics for the United States Air Force. Designed as an air superiority day fighter, it evolved into a successful all-weather multi-role aircraft. Over 4,600 aircraft have been built since production was approved in 1976. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is a compact, multi-role fighter aircraft. It is highly maneuverable and has proven itself in air-to-air -air combat and air-to-service attack. It provides a relatively low-cost, high-performance weapon system for the United States and allied nations. In an air combat role, the F-16's maneuverability and combat radius, distance it can fly to enter air combat, stay, fight, and return, exceed that of all potential threat fighter aircraft. It can locate targets in all weather conditions and detect low-flying aircraft in radar ground clutter. In an air-to-surface roll, the F-16 can fly more than 500 miles, deliver its weapons with superior accuracy, defend itself against enemy aircraft, and return to its starting point. An all-weather capability allows it to accurately deliver ordnance during non-visual bombing conditions. In designing the F-16, advanced aerospace science, and proven reliable systems from other aircraft, such as the F-15 and F-111 were selected. With a full load of internal fuel, the F-16 can withstand up to 9 Gs nine times the force of gravity, which exceeds the capability of other current fighter aircraft. The cockpit and its bubble canopy give the pilot unobstructed forward and upward vision, and greatly improve vision over the side and to the rear. The seat back angle was expanded from the usual 13 degrees to 30 degrees, increasing pilot comfort and gravity force tolerance. The pilot has excellent flight control of the F-16 through its fly-by-wire system. Electrical wires relay commands, replacing the usual cables and linkage controls. For easy and accurate control of the aircraft during high G-force combat maneuvers, a side stick controller is used instead of the conventional setter-mounted stick. Hand pressure on the side stick controller sends electrical signals to actuators of flight control surfaces such as ailerons and rudder. Avionic systems include a highly accurate enhanced global positioning and inertial navigation systems, or EGI, in which computers provide steering information to the pilot. The plane has UHF and VHF radios plus an instrument landing system. It also has a warning system and modular countermeasure pods to be used against airborne or surface electronic threats. The fuselage has space for additional avionic systems. The F-16B, a two-seat model, has tandem cockpits that are about the same size as the 1 the model. Its bubble canopy extends to cover the second cockpit. To make room for the second cockpit, the forward fuselage fuel tank and avionics growth space were reduced. During training, the forward cockpit is used by a student pilot with an instructor pilot in the rear cockpit. The long-term benefits of this program will be technology transfer among the nations producing the F-16 and a common-use aircraft for NATO nations. This program increases the supply and availability of repair parts in Europe and improves the F-16's combat readiness. U.S. Air Force S-16 multirole fighters were deployed to the Persian Gulf in 1991 in support of Operation Desert Storm, where more sorties were flown than with any other aircraft. These innovations include a frameless bubble canopy for better visibility, a side-mounted control stick, and a reclined seat to reduce G-force effects on the pilot. It is armed with an internal M61 Vulcan cannon in the left-wing route and has multiple locations for mounting various missiles, bombs, and pods. It has a thrust-to-weight ratio greater than 1, providing power to climb and vertical acceleration. The S-16 was designed to be relatively inexpensive to build and simpler to maintain than earlier generation fighters. The airframe is built with about 80% aviation-grade aluminum alloys, 8% steel, 3% composites, and 1.5% titanium. The leading-edge flaps, stabilators, and ventral fins make use of bonded aluminum honeycomb structures and graphite epoxy lamination coatings. 
the number of lubrication points, fuel line connections, and replaceable modules is significantly lower than preceding fighters. 80% of the access panels can be accessed without stands. The air intake was placed, so it was rearward of the nose, but forward enough to minimize airflow losses and reduce aerodynamic drag. The pilot flies primarily by means of an armrest-mounted side stick controller and an engine throttle. To enhance the pilot's degree of control of the aircraft during high combat maneuvers, various switches and function controls were moved to centralized hands on throttle and stick controls upon both the controllers and the throttle. Hand pressure on the side stick controller is transmitted by electrical signals via the FBW system to adjust various flight control surfaces to maneuver the F-16. F-16 pilot with joint helmet mounted queuing system and cockpit head-up display. The F-16 has a head-up display which projects visual flight and combat information in front of the pilot without obstructing the view. Being able to keep their head out of the cockpit improves the pilot's situation awareness. Further flight and systems information are displayed on multifunction displays. The left-hand multifunction displays is the primary flight display typically showing radar and moving maps. The right-hand multifunction displays is the system display, presenting information about the engine, landing gear, slat and flap settings, and fuel and weapon status. The Boeing Joint Helmet Mounted Queuing System is available from Block 40 onwards for targeting based on where the pilot's head faces, unrestricted by the HUD, using high op foresight missiles. The S-16 was originally equipped with the Westinghouse and APG-66 fire control radar. Its slotted plan or ray antenna was designed to be compact to fit into the F-16's relatively small nose. In uplook mode, the APG-66 uses a low pulse repetition frequency for medium and high altitude target detection in a low clutter environment, and in look down shoot down, employs a medium PR app for heavy clutter environments. It has four operating frequencies within the X band and provides four air to air and seven air to ground operating modes for combat, even at night or in bad weather. The Block 15's APG 66 2 model added a more powerful signal processing, higher output power improved reliability and increased range in cluttered or jamming environments. The Midlife Update program introduced a new model, APG-66-2A, which features higher speed and more memory. The initial power plant selected for the single-engined F-16 was the Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW-200 afterburning turbofan. A modified version of the F-15's F-100 PW-100 rated at 23,800 and 30 all thrust. During testing, the engine was found to be prone to compressor stalls and rollbacks, wherein the engine's thrust would spontaneously reduce to idle. It was the standard S16 engine through the Block 25, except for the newly built Block 15s with the operational capability upgrade. 